let's solve these five problems with the OBS virtual camera not working properly. One, you don't have a virtual camera button in your OBS. Two, you get this error screen. Three, you just see your normal webcam. Four, your camera doesn't work at all. And five, your graphics and layout look wrong. OBS Studio is a great tool for creating engaging visuals in your video conferences. For example, you can share slides like this or like this. And this works whether you use Zoom, Teams or Google Meet. But OBS can be a bit sensitive and intimidating. So with these troubleshooting tips, we'll have your video conferencing setup looking beautiful. Remember that there's only video over the OBS virtual camera. You'll have to supply audio separately into your video conferencing software. Problem number one is that you don't see the virtual camera button here in the bottom right hand corner where it says start virtual camera. And this means that you have an older version of OBS Studio. This is easy to solve. Just go into the help menu and then click on check for updates. Make sure that you update to the most recent version of OBS Studio and the virtual camera is going to be included in the default installation. For problem number two, we're going to jump over to Zoom. Here we are in the Zoom application, but all we see is this error screen that has a crossed out camera on it. The problem here is that we have not started the virtual camera. Let's jump back into OBS. And in OBS, all we have to do is click on start virtual camera. And as soon as I do that, it's going to look perfect in Zoom. Let's switch over. And here we have our full scene that we created in OBS coming through nicely inside of Zoom. For problem number three, I'm going to switch over to a layout here in OBS that only has slides. This is also going to be connected to problem number four. And problem number three is that even though I have created this slide presentation in OBS, all I'm seeing here inside of Zoom is my normal webcam. Here the problem is that I have selected the wrong camera inside of Zoom. So all I have to do is go into my video options here and then select the OBS virtual camera. And now the slides that I created inside of OBS are coming through nicely inside of Zoom. Now let's talk about problem number four, where one of your cameras is not working at all. I'm going to switch back into OBS to demonstrate this problem. Now I'm going to switch back into my layout that has the slides on the left hand side and the camera on the right. But as you can see, the camera is not shown. The same thing happens if I switch to this layout, which is supposed to have the camera in the top right corner. And here we are back in Zoom, which is in fact the cause. The problem is that the webcam can only be accessed by one application at a time, and it is currently being used by Zoom. That's why it does not show up in OBS. The easiest solution here is to disable the camera inside of Zoom and then go back into OBS Studio and actually restart OBS Studio. So let's do that now. And now as soon as I restarted OBS Studio, the camera works perfectly. I can go back to my 50-50 view and also to my webcam only view inside of OBS Studio. Got value? Hit like. Problem number five is that your layout inside of OBS Studio either doesn't fill the whole screen or you cannot see all of your elements. For example, it could look like this. And the reason is that there is a mismatch between the resolution of the scene collection and the resolution of the profile. Let me illustrate this by going into my settings here and I will show you the video resolution. It's currently set to 1280 by 720, which is one of the resolutions that I use to record video. But my scene collection for sharing slides is actually 1920 by 1080. I have these set up as different profiles. And if I go back to my YouTube streaming profile, which is 1920 by 1080, the layout looks beautiful. If I go into settings and then go into the video options here, you can see that it's 1920 by 1080. And this problem can occur if you are moving your layout from one device to another. For example, I designed my layout to be 1920 by 1080 here on my desktop PC. But when I moved it to my laptop PC, it defaulted to a lower resolution, which meant that I didn't have all the visual elements visible on the screen. 
So what I had to do is go in and manually adjust the canvas size inside of OBS Studio, and then I was able to display all of my visuals. Let me know in the comments below the video which of these five solutions works for you. In just a moment, I'm going to share a bonus tip that will make it easier for you to control OBS when you are in Zoom. If you've been getting value from the video so far, please consider subscribing to my channel. I post a new video here every Thursday, and they're always about helping you engage better with your audience. And here's that bonus tip. I strongly recommend that you use keyboard commands. For example, you can switch scenes or you can switch slides all with keyboard commands. I have also set it up so I can switch these different layouts with keyboard commands. I can remove the camera. I can go back to my webcam layout and back to this 50-50 view. And the way you set this up is that you right click on settings down here in the bottom right corner and then hotkeys here on the left hand side. And then you can see here that I have assigned specific keyboard commands for the various scenes that I use. But that's not the best thing, actually, because the best thing about using keyboard commands is that they work even when you're in Zoom. Now I have the Zoom window active on my screen and I can press Control Shift S to go to my slides view. I can press Control Shift W to go to my webcam only and then Control Shift F to come back to this 50-50 view. If you would like to copy my layout, just go to marcuspresents.com slash OBS. I made this package available as a digital download there. And as you can see, it works really well here inside of Zoom. And I can switch layouts on the fly. Uh, but more importantly, I can also remove the slides and then bring them back when I need them. And I think this solves one of the biggest problems in video conferencing today, namely that people leave their slides on for far too long. Now that your setup is working perfectly, one thing you might want to add to your scenes is a countdown timer like this. It will work great as a workout timer or as a speech timer or to show your audience when the break is over. If you want to learn step by step how to create this timer, click or tap the screen right here for my full video on how to create the timer in OBS Studio. My name is Marcus Seppala. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.